Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Dave, welcome back. Today we've got an awesome video about Universal Audio and Spark and what it is. Um, basically, Universal Audio is amazing. They have the world's best plugins. Uh, not just says me, it says everybody, really. Everyone loves their, their, their plugins, they're just amazing. Uh, the only way you can get them to work is with hardware, like the Apollo or the Satellite. So I started with the Apollo many years ago. I've been happy with it ever since. That's got two uh, mic pre's in it. Sounds amazing. Um, you don't really get a whole lot of plug-in power with that. You can do a few, but that's about it. So like an actual session you can't do anything with. So I got a satellite. I loved it. Uh, it was almost enough for what I needed, so I got a second satellite to still make a payments on. And now I have a lot of power to run all my plugins. And I also got this, which is the 8XP, it's the 8 mic pre's, uh, 6 core shark processor. So now I've got all kinds of power to run more plugins than I can even imagine. Um, Universal Audio released the version 10 of their software. So now everything is compatible with Monterey or Mac OS 12.3, which is awesome. It's great news. I've been waiting for that for a while. Also, everything is M1 native compatible. Uh, which is really cool because I want to get a new Mac soon. Now I can. <laughs> That's what I was waiting for. And they announced Spark. Now if you if you ever want to know what kind of luck I have, I bought the uh, 8XP and literally the very next day Spark was announced. I'm not kidding. That's a true story. That's my luck. Uh, what Spark is, uh, if you own some plugins. They have a handful right now that are available. There's going to be more coming soon, hopefully, probably. The ones that you own now, you can run natively <coughs> on your Mac or Windows in the fall, which will eliminate the need for external hardware processing for the plugins. Really cool, right? Really cool. So in addition to the new software, you get a new little software also called Universal Connect. It's brand new. That's how you launch Spark. That's how you <coughs> authorize plugins you own via your iLock. So if you're having trouble getting your plugins to load right here, um, I know that Universal Audio said that their servers are getting bombarded right now and it's going to be about 72 hours for everything to get caught up. So if you don't see them right now, don't worry, they will be there. Just be patient. And if you don't own any plugins, you can start a monthly subscription through Spark. It's about 20 bucks a month. And right now, like I said, there's only a handful of plugins available, but there should be many more coming soon. Hopefully. Probably. Definitely. <laughs> <clears throat> Let's go ahead and take a look at Pro Tools right now. And now for the stress test. Let's test the native plugins, see how many we can do in one session. Okay, so I wanted to show you my Pro Tools session. I'm running uh, 64 samples as the buffer. Um, if you scroll over here, we have 50 channels of audio and each channel has four plugins um, native plugins so we have now they're, they're going to be different as far as um, processing power required to run them so i just picked four of the ones that i had put them in there we have 1176 galaxy delay la2a pure plate reverb i'm pretty sure this one is a little bit uses a little bit more power but uh i'm not 100 on that so I have 50 instances of four plugins, that's 200 plugins. And even at 200 plugins, I'm still not at 100%. I'm gonna go ahead and run it, just to show you that it does work. Obviously they're all muted because you're not gonna to wanna to listen to all of that, but here we go. It's floating around 80%. And I do wanna show you the specs of my computer. This is an iMac 2015. Um, 4 gigahertz quad core i7, 32 gigs of RAM, and uh, as you can tell, it's not using much RAM at all, which is pretty cool. So even though this computer is seven years old, it was fully maxed out at the time, and um, it's not an M1, it's an Intel, but it's still really powerful. And I wanted to show you the uh, the native plugins, how how many you could do for one session. Uh, 200 is kind of a lot. I don't think I actually ever use that many in real life, um, but it's good to know that I have that option. I know the uh, the M1s are a lot more powerful. You could probably run a whole lot more, so I can't really do a test on that because I don't have one. 
but I wanted to give you a, a sort of a, a ballpark. That's what you can do with the Intel Max right now. All right, well, as always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll try to get to them, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.